that one bumped it good. full of it. Find some pliers. And those Fusion 19 hooks come standard on all Berkeley baits. Hard baits are super sharp. They get them so good. And that's one of the beauties about Berkeley hard baits is you don't have to swap the hooks on them. Hey guys, so it's mid-June, we're out here on Lake Champlain, and the fish are really starting to transition to being post-spawn. There's a few still left on the bed, but uh, a lot of them are really trying to transition, get out in that 10 to 20. And uh, the water's super clear. You can see 10 to 12 foot deep when you get up in that shallow water. You can see the bottom really good. So these fish have a lot of visibility. And as you can see, it's just glass calm out here today. It's sunny, it's really bright. So a bait that I really like when those conditions are uh, present on a clear lake and smallmouth are around is a Berkeley Spy. This is a size 70. And this one is a slow sink. And we make a slow and a fast sink, depending on what depth you want to uh, you want to fish it in. I'm fishing this bait out over a little bit of like cabbage grass, um, just any kind of weeds that are growing in the lake. The smallmouth seem to be floating really high on them today. And so I'm gonna go with the slow sink version, but if we were in conditions where maybe they're a little bit deeper or you know the grass was growing deeper, I may go to the fast sink. So, you know, one thing when you got these really clear conditions, you wanna get that bait as far away from the boat as you can. Throwing it on six pound, 100% fluorocarbon, six pound Berkeley fire line for my braid. That bait weighs just absolutely nothing. So having that line that's real small, but yet strong, that's gonna jump off the reel, allow you to make a long cast, I feel like it's really key into getting more bites. And uh, I'm gonna throw this on a 610 medium light. You want a rod that's got a lot of bend to it. You know, the biggest thing is, is when you hook them on these small hooks, they really get them. You just don't overdo it, don't horse them, don't get in a hurry, play those fish in. And uh, you know, you're gonna have a lot of success under these conditions. So let's get back out here, see if we can get another one. You know, one thing about a lot of Northern lakes is the forage in them, whether it's the bait fish or the gobies or whatever, that, three inch size really imitates a lot of what's swimming in the water. You can really just pick your colors to match the forwards that you think the fish are going to be biting or you know the clarity of the water. That's what makes the bait so good and so efficient. It's very subtle. You know, it's not aggressive. It's not all in the fish's face. Um, they, you know, they feel comfortable around it. They sneak up on it and it just gets a lot of bites. When you're, uh, when you're fishing potentially tough conditions on clear water fisheries, this is a great bait to throw. It's not just a smallmouth bait. Catch a ton of spotted bass in the south on it. You know, it's, it's something that I found in the last you know, couple years stays in my boat all the time, no matter where I am. I only got us one to act right, so, you know, that just goes to show really the versatility of this bait. Um, we were throwing it out over sand and grass and rock earlier, calling those fish up, and we transitioned into, it's bright and sunny, we're throwing it on shade lines now. Um, and that's why we make a fast and a slow sink version. This slow sink, I don't, you know, I'm not wanting to fish this bait, but three foot deep around these boats, because um, they're gonna be tucked right up under them for the shade. So with the slow sink, um, you move out deeper where you won't try to catch those fish in that 15, 20, 25 out um, calling them up off of rocks. You're going to want to go to the fast sink. So let him wear down so he doesn't give me a fusion in the hand today. He ate it good too. Oh. He had it eating good. So, you know, not a giant by Lake Champlain standards, but a nice one. A lot of fun to catch. And let's see if we can't get us one more. So one thing about this bait that makes it really user-friendly is you can kind of count it down 
and get it to the depth you want to get it at. And then just a real slow, steady retrieve. It's going to keep it in that depth. It doesn't want to ride up high. It doesn't want to sink. Like it, it stays very stable, but you just kind of have to learn a good, slow, steady retrieve. Kind of feel that pressure. Um, if you have a forward facing sonar, you can kind of watch it and learn what pressures your feline are keeping it at that right depth. Like I said, user friendly is the, the best word I would put for it. There's a big one. Got that thing swallowed. Oh, got to fall out of the boat. Come here. All right, so if you find yourself fishing some tough conditions post-spawn, clear water, get you a Berkeley spy bait, and uh, get after catching some giant smallmouth. It's, uh, it's been proven that this bait absolutely catches them in tough conditions, and I think that big Lake Champlain smallmouth choking that black 70 size Berkeley spy is just proof in the pudding.